welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the complete Christian. Beware lest a man should spoil you through vain philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and we are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Colossians 2, 8 through 9. Christians in church must have a goal. A simplified way of stating this goal might be to prepare Christians to become complete in Christ. The plan of salvation can be found in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Consecrations in prayer and fasting and witnessing, plus the determination to live a holy life acceptable unto God, is included in this reference, complete. Parents, teachers, and ministers cannot teach people everything, but they can and are to provide the basics of life and survival in this world, encouraging a spiritual atmosphere which attracts the Spirit of God. In this natural world, the parents play an important role in teaching children properly, both in the natural and the spiritual things, to enable growth into an adult. Proverbs 22 verse 6 reminds us, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The time will come when that they must take responsibility for their own decisions and consequences living on their own. But it's not on you or anyone else that they become a complete adult. All Christians are children of God and must grow into a complete spiritual person through the leading of Jesus Christ. To be incomplete in important areas of your lives, you'll definitely experience problems. No patience, faith in man and not God. Obey to please a man instead of God. Dress to look good for a man, but in the heart, well, you get the point. The purpose of the spiritual experience and teachings from the Bible is to lead us to a relationship with God that makes us complete. God made us with an empty place inside that can only be satisfied by His Spirit. Once we are filled with the Holy Ghost, we are complete in Him. Unfortunately, this is not permanent unless we maintain a victorious and overcoming life and be renewed in the Holy Ghost often. God provides for us to face trials and problems designed to make us stronger. Learn wisdom, teach us, and help us in making proper decisions. Christians cannot be made complete without being allowed to follow the Spirit of God. Yes, and along the way we make mistakes, but we learn from them and serve God with free will. God wants it this way, and we cannot interfere. Complete means we have the faith that God wants us to possess, to enable us to overcome. Christians must have spiritual strength and spiritual endurance through dependence on the Lord and not on anyone else. Many are anemic, weak, nervous, and even fearful towards the devil. Our fear is supposed to be towards one and one only, and that's God. So today strive not to depend on man nor yourself, but in order to be a complete Christian, you've got to have complete dependence on the Lord. The thought of the day, Complete means we have the faith that God wants us to possess, to enable us to overcome. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.